good morning i've got a busy day ahead of me however i'm going jigging to start the day off itself it's a great way of fishing because you need minimal amount of gear the rods already made up so the moment you get to the water's edge you're fishing you don't have to spend lots of time setting up or baiting a swim or any of the things associated with perhaps other types of angling that's why i do love jigging because you can get those extra sessions in when otherwise you wouldn't be able to plus of course the most important thing is i do enjoy it but before i get in the car and make my way to the water's edge the first cup of tea of the day just a few casts in and i'll tell you about the spot in a moment or two once i show you the fish then return it well the dorsal doesn't look too good does it let's keep it like that that's a fantastic perch isn't it fishing somewhere different people often ask I wonder if there are any fish in there or they think that I wonder if that place has perch this particular spot has chub well you can tell in some ways by looking at the venue looking at the swim spending time there but ultimately the best thing to do is to get out there and try for yourself and that's exactly what I've done this morning and it's worked that was a great perch Actually, Doug asked a question on YouTube yesterday, so I'm going to answer that one right now rather than type a, a, a longer reply in the uh, comments box. I am fishing with my jigging approach, that's what he asked about. And in particular, he says, does this sort of approach, method, work in coloured water? Well, obviously, especially with a, a smaller lure, that's my usual 0.7 gram jig head, and a two inch rubber fish obviously it's sight fishing you're not creating a lot of disturbance to attract the fish initially and as the water is clearer it gives you more advantage there but a murky water isn't a problem I do fish like this on the Staffordshire Worcestershire Canal and apart from the very depths of winter when there are no boats and it's absolutely clear there's always color there in fact where I am this morning there is colour in the water. So it's, it's working, isn't it? The important thing is, with this type of angling, you can go to where the fish are, as opposed to bringing them to you. Certainly less than an hour, and I've had that nice perch on the bank. I also had a couple of snatches as well, which was a, a nice surprise, because it's very shallow water. So you can always pick up one fish, can't you? But when you've got a few backups out there, that's always encouraging. What I've done on this occasion is I've gone for a shorter tail as well. So the braid to the swivel and then a tail of about 18 inches because it is very shallow. And although not too snaggy, there are a few branches out there, but there are leaves on the bottom this time of the year, of course. So what I'm trying to do, what I did do, is to keep the lure off the bottom so instead of keep snagging into leaves branches and so on you're just enticing the little fish along the water itself and just off the bottom if you can that's where mini jigging is good because you haven't got a heavy jig head that instantly sinks to the bottom great way of fishing and I've most certainly enjoyed this morning and whether it's angling or life itself it's all about enjoying it isn't it and making the most of it I've decided to have one more cast and I am into what I'm absolutely sure of is a, a pike it is indeed just saw it turn in the water not a, a big fish by pike standards but nevertheless on this sort of gear <laughs> to the rod there it's, uh, it's pulling round so I can land it could be the icing on the cake won't it I'm in the car, as you can see, I'm on my way home. And the dilemma that I have is, which image do I use as the lead one? The perch or the pike? Nice problems to have, isn't it, in life? I'll tell you what, on a serious note, 
I'm going to use one for the YouTube thumbnail and another for the blog entry lead photo. If you're out fishing yourself today, tight lines.